Hello, welcome to the video. Welcome to the weirdness. I'm not Danielle from Star Puppies, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but you know what I mean. Now we are finally gonna get into the reading part of this video. This is my first time filming from the setup. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. This is very fun. Kind of this this top matches my room aesthetic. Very nice. Very nice. But yeah, so I've got my Attack on Titan tea on. I've got my iPad, also my trusty manga reader. So I will read the Attack on Titan manga on this. This is so weird. I've literally never filmed from this angle. Maybe I should start filming from this angle. Like, like this video if you think I should start filming from this angle. Because it's kind of cool. It's different. It's more aesthetic, you know? It's more clean versus like my crazy desk setup, which is like, ah. This is more black and white, more like, consistent you know I, i'm kind of vibing with it okay i've got a bazillion tabs open but i figured i would do this using the shonen jump habit let's see uzumaki naruto how it all began no not that read snk.com Ooh, what chapter am i on no i don't remember what chapter i'm on wait i kind of oh yes i remember that yes i remember that i remember that the attack that happened. By the way, there may or may not be spoilers in this video. I am not sure. Yes, yes, the attack, the wall, all that fun stuff. I remember that. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start from chapter 120 and then we will make our decision. But because this video is kindly sponsored by the Udi, I thought that I should change my outfit for the next portion of the video into something that's really comfortable, aka the Udi. I'm going to transform into that in three, two, one. All right, I am back and I am now have been Udi-fied. Udi basically is hoodie, but without the H because it's not a real hoodie, but it is like an oversized blanket that is on you, that is shaped in the form of a hoodie, with a hoodie but like it's not so it's called the udi <laughs> so yeah um yeah i'm really excited to work with them um super nice that they sent this to me it's so warm i literally have been sleeping in this every single night for like so long it's so comfortable especially if you live in like canada or a cold climate trust me all you want to do is just like curl up into a blanket that will never leave your side because it's literally like on you <laughs> like it's amazing it's super comfortable if I look kind of ridiculous, this is why, because I'm all oodified. I got my my manga, my Attack on Titan manga is all set and ready, and let's get to it. forgot that Aaron's head got blown off by that little girl named Gabby. Ooh. Oh boys. Yes, their mission, their goal was to gain the power of the founder. It seems like they have. Ooh. Yeah. Ymir. Is it Ymiru or Ymir? Or Ymir? I wonder what saving the world really means. Aaron, you must save the world. Hmm. Ooh, euthanization. Euthanization. Literally our world right now, you know? Dang. Yeah, Aaron. Ooh, Aaron. 
Zeke is like freaking out. All right, on to chapter 121. This is so weird how Zeke is bringing Aaron down memory lane. It's like he's the Scrooge going back in time. What did Aaron plan on doing with the Founder's power? I am curious. Ooh, snap, 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 snap. Ooh, the future. Which makes sense on Game Shivers, time traveling anime. <laughs> the attack titan. It's not as if the past could have changed. Oh. Me trying to understand why. Um. Aaron is so emo. He's so emo. Like, what is going on right now? He's so emo. <laughs> oh my gosh. To you, two thousand years ago. Chapter one twenty-two. Twenty. Oh, English is hard. Chapter one twenty-two. Okay, so the next chapter starts off saying, "Everyone says Aaron has changed. Even I believe it. But maybe that's wrong. I'm guessing it's Mikasa who's saying that because she's looking at Aaron." Um, this is from this is in chapter 123 in volume 31. This is where I'm at right now. So far, it's kind of weird because they were in that weird dimension with Ymir, Zeke, and Aaron. And that's uh, like, you know, it's weird. If you remember, like, or like right before they entered the dimension, obviously Aaron's head has been decapitated, and Zeke is the one who like holding his lifeline and then now we're in this weird time warp where we see this creepy Ymir person who's like the mother of all these titans. Now I'm gonna start chapter 123. It's so interesting because they're they're in different clothing. It's very it's very interesting. Even Levi! <laughs> Even Levi. Oh my gosh! Armin is taller than Levi. What is going on? <laughs> so yeah I'm excited. Like this looks good. It, oh my gosh! Then that looks like I think there's a black person in Attack on Titan. This is the first time I've ever seen a black man in Attack on Titan. What is going on? Let me just right there. That that looks like the face of a black man. I don't know. <laughs> hey, if you know, you know that Attack on Titan literally apparently humanity only has one race, so that's something that's a bit problematic, but it's okay. You know, it's anime. I guess its major fan base may have uh made the writer change some things <laughs> so yeah i'm excited to continue reading and i will check in with you soon about what my thoughts are so far it's nothing too crazy it's just like they're in the time warp i'm not like there's no like mind-blowing revelations coming right now i think the last mind-blowing revelation happened like like at like chapter like a hundred and something a hundred and three probably i don't know but since then no mind-blowing revelations happening right now it's like they're building up something all like they're hinting that aaron is potentially evil which i can totally see that like after chapter tw uh, chapter 90 honors which is basically season four i can totally see how that's possible because it's kind of like i mean obviously he's with he's still with the you know he's still with team Team Mikasa, team Essen. he's still with the squad he's still with like lead line everyone but it's just I just don't know how things are gonna change from this point on. I'm really curious to see what's gonna happen next. I will check in with you guys later this week. Probably will be back in my Attack on Titan outfit for the next video. Or I might still wear the hoodie because it's really comfortable. And yeah, I will see you soon. Bye bye.